Okay, hello. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the Kaovari glass because a lot of people do not know how to do this shit. So first off, uh, you're going to want to start this stuff. Um, yeah, you want to pay the uh, 100k for this. I know, they up the price. Goodbye. Inflation. I'm going to start the gathering till. Um, after Good that, on. you want to sit in your Kasaka seat or your driving seat, whatever. Press square. And go to the closest place wherever your uh to wherever your plane is, you know. Alright. The amazing noise of fast travel. Right, and we're gonna get out of the seat and this is the important part. You need the sparrow. The sparrow. Um go on your internet, go on Warstock, Kasaka, move your vehicles and like a whopping 1.8 mil. Well, probably like 2 mil actually because you need 200k for the missiles as well you just sit in the cassette car press right on d-pad and it will show that other uh, weapons here yeah. actually you know what I'm going to change my colour change to black cool let's clean We're just gonna get on this plane and we're gonna fly it. Fly it all the way south. All the way south. As you can see. All the way south. Yep. It's, uh, it's a long flight, so I'm gonna pass it. Uh, Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Arms out, let's go. Okay, wait over there. They will bring it soon. Go on. Okay, Just we are on the okay, free to island. Um, yeah. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this, this uh, hangar right here. And we're gonna check these. So here we've got cash and weed. We don't have to take a picture about this, uh, by the way. So cash and weed, and cash and weed. And we're gonna go out here. By the way, it's actually like beautiful on this island at night. And then we're just gonna go through here. And down here there's extra loot. So here we've got cocaine. That's good. Now we're gonna go over through here. And we're gonna get this bike quick. Now just follow me. And here's the tricky part. So here is this guy on the watchtower. And sometimes he looks this way, so you really gotta be careful when you're making this jump. But it's a really good skip to make. So now we're going to be quick as possible because there's cars that come around this route. Alright, skip this. And go up here. Right, so there's actually a trick to this. With the signal boxes, there's a guy that spawns here sometimes. If he isn't here. Then the signal box will be at the bottom. 
But if he is here, it will be on one of the upper levels. That's a good trick to know. We're just gonna do this. This real quick. It's a bit of like algebra and stuff. It's pretty easy though. Alright, so this time symbol is times 10. This one is times 2. And this one is times 1. So what we're gonna do here is this. No, wait, we'll do times two for this one. Uh, then, nope, that ain't it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Alright, we got it. First try, let's go. Right now, you're going to see your phone in the bottom right, and then we just keep on swiping right, until we get to the basement, so, right, right, and courtyard, and then right, again, and then, now we're at the basement, <gasps> okay, so this is hard mode, and this thing that, um, Okay. Um. So, so that is a really just go out. Um, now, this is a really easy way to just save your shit on Caprico and get back. Uh, first off, you're gonna save your spawn location to your Kasaka, and then you'll go to appearance, and you say it as one of your other outfits. And you can see that little that little loading thing that saves your shit. So you can go into here now, find new session, so invite only. And that'll be our scope out done. Alright, but anyway, let's get back to it. So, uh, the first thing you notice is you get a new panel or a new section called prep. We're gonna go straight here to long pin. I will start this. Goodbye. And we're gonna get in our sparrow. you want to do is you want to go ahead and follow the instructions obviously go to whatever your police station is and then when you get there if you don't have a phantom wedge pick one of these don't pick one of don't pick the phantom uh, like secluded from the other ones because basically these are two normal phantoms normal trucks right but this one it's heavily secured and that like heavy heavily guarded and stuff like that and to be honest it isn't worth it so if you don't have a phantom wedge like me and I'll show you this right now right here the phantom wedge then you're just gonna pick up one of those normal phantoms um like the ones straight next to each other but yeah anyway after you've gotten the truck and you have gotten to your police station uh, you are going to reverse basically right into the right into the trailer because this boat is yep on on a trailer so we're just going to get through all these police right here i messed up that's okay though, we can just try again. And then bang. And with the Phantom Wedge, you can literally bar through everything. Like, I'll just show you this, this here. Like, it's basically just the truck version of the, the ramp buggy. And the more destructive, destructive version of it as well. But I've got a trick for you guys um, that I even use. 
with my front wheels because it's so easy. You're just gonna jump out of your truck while you've got the trailer. You're gonna grab a grenade and just commit suicide. And then bam. Easy as that, you've lost the cops. Cool. And bam. You got your cops off you. It's probably the most easiest and best way to get the cops off you and like in this uh, setup and it's just really helpful because you can't call less stuff in these missions yeah it's just really helpful for this but anyway i'm gonna make my way to the docks to deliver this trailer or this boat the long fin and i'll see you guys there here we go perfect uh, uh by the way there's a really weird glitch that doesn't like affect anything but in some of these preps your hair just goes green it's kind of weird um but now now we've done this uh prep we're just gonna go to our pause menu online and just find a new session that's the easiest way to get back to your kasaka as you can see it it gets you back in about like i don't know 15 seconds not even that 10 seconds it's just so quick next prep uh, where is it? Equipment. Alright, we're only gonna get these three, okay? Not this one. This one's useless unless you're going in aggressive. We want these three. By the way, if you've got bear bonds, this will be the, f uh, safe code instead of plasma car, and you have a different mission for that. Okay, here we go. Um, don't this guy's doing. Just go ahead. Yeah, thank you. So it, there is a camera here, but you don't actually have to take it out. It does literally nothing. So you might as well just walk through here. And there's a really good um, skip for this for this mission. Uh, basically, you can take a picture from like here. And if it's on the left side, you can literally take a picture from the start. And, and it's that easy. Like you can take a picture from here if if your uh, picture's on the left side or your planning boards on the left side, it's that easy. We have still got to get the plasma car, and for that, I'm gonna get my oppressor, because, bam, it's so good in this mission. I don't know why, but for me, it's just the best vehicle in the situation. Because you could just kill everyone in a whole perimeter, and just jump in, pick it up while we're still in your oppressor and swoop away it's just such a good choice uh yeah and oppressor mark one would work perfect with this as well we're just gonna break all of these cars right now oh, i've got enough through here to there we go and you can see here literally we could just go and pick that up Sweep out. Oh, hello. Here we go. Alright, what I'm gonna do is to make it quicker. I'm just gonna cross my cassette car like this. You see in a sec. And I'll just request it here. That'll make it quicker for me to get my stuff back. And that way I don't have to go all the way south, you know. Alright, so here we go. By the way, if you do want to do the high setups with the Oppressor Mark II, you can do that. But, the Sparrow is a good choice as well. Okay, here we go. Another, another setup here. And by the way, I just realised how much this is worth on hard mode. 1.4 million. Damn. I'm gonna get like 1.7 mil after this heist, guys. That's crazy. Right, anyway, fingerprint cloner. Mission's easy. Um, we have to go kill some people. I think. We okay. land here, and my sparrow is already smoking because that's just loading it. And these cameras do absolute shit all. Basically, if you shoot them you'll be targeted because you shoot one the other one's inside so 
like Pavel just said, but you probably can't hear him because he's speaking over him. You can just go somewhere and find this signal box real quick. To see with the security cameras, but to be honest, it's not worth it because they see you straight away anyway. Like they're on your ass as soon as you walk through that place anyway, so you might as well just get lit up. Either way. Okay. There we go. See you later, lads. Here's the iMac. Oh, now. Nah. Oh, bad. I just, uh... Alright, easy. There we go. It worked. We have the location of the archive. Okay. What the hell? Oh. Alright, here we go. You die. Thank you, man. Hey! Don't do that. Alright, anyway, um, I'm back with my oppressor, because pedestrians are um, NPCs, nice. Anyway, here's the part where you collect your SIM card, fingerprint cloning, your SIM card, you know. Uh, you can shoot these cameras, but it only sends like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to get caught by these to show you, um, but like one getaway, one or two getaway the cars pulls up and just tries to light you up but obviously you're in a flying vehicle most likely hopefully we can go away without a scratch uh, but anyway it's a waste of time going through this desk this desk this desk this desk wait it's not that's not and there you go so you only want to look at these last three that is the most likely spawn for this uh thingy chip yeah, but you can literally get away, so it... What the hell? I don't know what my luck is with pedestrians today, but it's not great. These MP NPCs... These NPCs are getting kind of annoying. Uh, I press to go back to storage. It doesn't matter if it kind of sinks through the cassette car, it will still go to storage. The easiest of them all. A cutting torch, in my opinion. Oh wait, when did those panels fall down? I swear I've never seen uh, a, a toolbox under those panels. So, at the bottom of here, you see suppressors. Don't buy these. It's a waste of 5k. In the finale, you can literally choose to just equip them. So yeah easy uh anyway we're gonna do aggressor or conspirator and we've got merit weather hq so we're just gonna all right i changed the loadout changed the session a few times and we finally got a skyscraper don't worry about the name you just, just worry just worry about the weapons guys okay now we're gonna carefully land uh Wait, where is it again? Right here. This is where I like to land, but you can probably find out another place to land in this weird ass building. Here we go. I guess it's good enough. Here we go right down here. Right, anyway. We try to open this. Uh oh. We go to the laptop. Come on. Alright, there we go. Hack into it with a little thumb drive. And. Did that work? Can you open the locker now? 
and bam now we can open this gun locker and collect the weapons there cool all right so on your way out um you see the elevator but it's a bit weird so left is roof and right is the ground floor i always get mixed up with this so if you parked on the roof remember to press press left all right here we go all right so there will be like a few helicopters but you can take them out really quickly with a machine Okay, and that is the last prep. Now, when we go to this, uh, to the, to the, the setup board or the whatever board, the heist board, whatever, you see this, but you can't select anything. Press start. Obviously, don't put camera lock on, and then just play if you're going solo. If not, then invite your friends. Okay, so you just want to copy all of my stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, you might want to look up like a uh, infiltration point guide on YouTube. But all you do need is infiltration point main dock and compound entry point drainage tunnel. Because we're going to use the same thing as the escape point. And then we're going to go day. So we've got all of that. Then you go to weapon loadout. This is important. You need these suppressors on. See earlier when I said you don't need to pay for the suppressors like you literally don't all right anyway once you're done and you've done your crew cuts and everything like that we can start the mission i'll just go for this guy and we'll go okay here we are in the heist you can see my guy is very focused on getting to that main dock but hold on that's not where we're going, bro. Just hold on a minute. Alright, so we are going to be chasing the Elite Challenge. That means getting full bags, under 15 minutes. And we will be trying to not get caught or quick restart. Zero hatch failed. Yeah. Don't get caught. That's what we're going for, guys. Right. So first off, we're gonna go straight for that coke. Um, so we only really kill a few people here. We only kill like five in this whole heist. Um, and we'll start off by these two. So if you've never done a double kill before, you'll be a bit, a bit scared to do this. But literally, all you do is you find out the two guards get one get two and then that's done and then now we get that one by the way you can kill five cameras but if you kill a sick fun um then you will be getting caught so just keep that in mind so right now I can say I've killed one camera so far. But yeah, uh, first off, we're gonna get cocaine because uh, if you look up like a, uh, a table on like the best secondaries, this is the second best, I'm pretty sure. You see, like already 200k, and we've only collected one batch of cocaine. And we've still got like two weeds to pick up. Obviously, we can't get it all, but that's fine. Now we're just gonna head here. And I don't know if I'm actually gonna go up because there's cash and weed here. And weed doesn't fill up like as much as your bag as Coke.
You know what? I might as well just get it because I'm gonna get less if I just get the cash, you know. But the thing we have to look forward to is an easy 1.4 mil. Damn, I'm still excited about that. I can't believe we actually got that in our in our prep or in our so. We're in our scope out. Right, so obviously we're not going to be able to get all of that stuff. The cash as well as the weed. But if we get the weed and the coke, then that'll be more uh, worth more than, you know, just cash. Alright, so we've got three, 3.8k. Um, and by the way, if you get a lower level or lower tier, uh, what is it called? Uh, main target, like the yeah, tequila or yeah, ruby necklace, something like that, or bear bonds. Um, your secondary targets will be worth more. So yeah, but that still doesn't mean it's good to get lower tier. You still want your your pink diamond. Oh yeah, by the way, my boat was here, but it drifted off today. It does that. Anyway, we're back in the boat. And we're just gonna head to the drainage tunnel where it says on the map. Okay, here we go. We go down. And we press left on D-pad to put our braver on. And I don't know what that is on PC, but you know. You fuck around, you find out, so you might as well. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a trick. Don't do this. That is slow. Just do this. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, we got in there quick. So, here we go. We're in a dirty drainage tunnel. But that's fine because that's how we're going to get this pink diamond. Here we go for a dirty drainage tunnel out the door and your guy looks right that's the right way mate but he goes left that, that that's not the right way anyway we're gonna go quick through the right way up these stairs right get your shotgun out maybe go through here and bam up here It's totally fine for you and hey, you I and this guy to just walk Sorry, together by the way. To. It's the quickest way. Then what we're gonna do is jump up these stairs. We just kill this guy. Easy stuff. Get this safe. Hopefully we get 100k. Oh, we got more. Uh, oh, no, we didn't. We didn't. Safe. We got about like 50k, something like that, 40k, maybe. I've been getting that a lot recently, 40k. Um, actually, no, we got about 60k. All right, I'm gonna show you a trick. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's the trick. I would say it more, more obviously, but you see, this is the last one. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the the that's the the mean number, the average number, the always number of uh, thing, thing, fingerprints, panel things. Uh, so one. This is the first one. Two. That's two. One two. One two three. One two three four. One two three four five. Wait, I messed up. One two three four. Five. One two three four five six. Wait, what? One two three four five six. One. Wait, what? Where did I mess up? What? <laughs> one two. One two three. You find the locked door. In my experience, you can also find the key. Okay. That's where I messed up. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, you don't really want to mess up your hacks because. Um, there we go. Anyway, you don't want to be messing up your hacks because that will make you uh, lose. Your elite challenge, so yeah, uh, we want that. There we go. I don't know why I'm uh, messing up a lot, but yeah, um, as long as you don't like actually mess up or fail your hack, you know, then you'll be fine. Back. And that hack that we literally just did is the only actual hack we have to do. By the way, I I get I forget that there's a lock here a lot. So, remember just to cut that up. But anyway, the pink diamond. The amazing pink diamond. We love this. You know what? Wait a sec, wait a sec. Let me just, uh... Now that is one picture, okay? <laughs> there we go. All right, let's cut this thing. So, what you wanna do is look at the heat on, on the bottom right. Go right to the red. Get to a quarter. And keep on going. This is the fastest way I know uh, to open this. And bang, you did like, or four of those and open five six maybe that's easy 1.8 mil guys this is this is peak this is peak money here you know pink diamond is peak money but anyway we're gonna kill this guy i'm sorry man and because we've got the gate key we don't have to do some complicated jumps and we can actually do this whole thing without killing a single person. And that's how. All right, so, all right, that's quick. That's really quick, you know. Um, best way to do it. And everything like that. I'm guessing I'm gonna get about 14 minutes maybe on this. If I'm lucky, maybe even 10? I don't know. But anyway, how should I talk to this man? Uh, by the way, if you have to, you can move these guys with the assault shotgun. That wasn't a really good presentation, but it takes a lot of shots and you can move those guys. But anyway, let's go. Just follow me. Don't go through your, through your actual escape route. Just get that bike and, that, and kill that guy I got. Uh, get that back we got and just hit a flick yeah <laughs> just hit a flick and we'll be fine oh 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 I nearly hit a bomb okay but that's fine though 
Okay, Pavel, thank you. This way, we are undetected from everything. And we don't need to go to the main dock for secondary loot, because what? We already got that. We already got that stuff. It's so much more easier to do this. This, uh, this airstrip way. Alright, we should be good soon. Here we go. Let's see the income. Here we go. Hello, bro. What's up? He's my man. Thank you for the cash, bro. Appreciate it. Just gave bro a a pink diamond and a wood. Alright. Mm hmm. Actual take was 1.6 mil. You see that? 100% a take, obviously. Offensive fee is 100k, though. 13 minutes! Zero hacks failed. Full loot bags. Elite challenge complete. And that brings it up to 1.7 mil. It's cold, that's cold. 15 job points, lovely. And some RP to nearly bring me up to... Oh, it brought me up. Let's go. Alright, anyway, that's how you know how to trust me with with these Kaoburiko guides. With this Kaoburiko guide. Um, here we go. That's good. That's good stuff. 1.7 mil. 13 minutes. Anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did. Remember to like and sub. And maybe join my uh, my Discord too. Maybe, maybe join my Discord, you know. That'd be really nice, you know. Just, just join the Discord or I die.